everybody out there in math land, I wanted to give you a quick description on how to multiply using the distributive property. So that way, if you need to help your children at home, you can. I know this one's a little bit more complicated, so I wanted to show you. Basically, what we're doing is we're breaking down the array or breaking down that basic fact into simpler numbers in order for us to multiply faster. Of course, we know if we memorize our facts, we could be done a lot quicker, but we need to know how to break these apart. We are keeping the first factor four the same, but we are splitting the second four into two addition numbers that I can um, also equal four. So I'm gonna split the four into two plus two. After that, using the distributive property, I'm gonna multiply four times two over on this side, and four times the other two over on this side. Each of these blanks corresponds to the multiplication basic fact that's above it. So four times two would be eight, and four times two would be eight. Last step would be to add them. That would give me 16. I can do the same thing over here, but this time they're not splitting up the nine. The factor nine is staying the same. I'm splitting up the three into two numbers that I can add up to make three. I'm gonna choose two plus one. So then once again, I apply the distributive property multiplying the nine times two, so I can say it as two times nine, that way it's the same order, and then one times nine on this side. Once again, I multiply and put it in the blank beneath it. Two times nine is 18. One times nine is nine. Last step is to add 18 plus nine, that would be 27. Same thing applies here. You just have to look at the number that they have broken apart so that you make sure you multiply those two basic facts together. I'm gonna do one more. So for example, in this one, they've decided to break apart the six. The eight is staying the same, but my six is gonna be five plus one. Here they have multiplied using the distributive property eight times five, and here I have to I have to multiply the eight times the one. So eight times one. This would be forty. This would be eight, and I would add to get forty-eight. And that's how you multiply using the distributive property.